Um, so uh, you will have uh, 15 minutes uh, to show us your presentation and that will be followed by five minutes of questions from the audience. Okay. Um, so uh, whenever you're, you're ready, uh, you can begin sharing. Okay, and I'm sharing, okay. Hello. Can you hear? No. Yes, yes, I can hear you and we can see. That I will follow up today. The, the sound is not coming. Okay, I will try again, sorry. I think it should be work now. I will talk about multi-level organizational learning and the levels of this multi-levelity. And we will see our uh, project-based context, the organizational scenario. And we'll see the model design and the simulation results. Uh, let me first begin, begin with the models of our perception of the world, our mental models. We conceptually them, have them in our brains and uh, they make us to understand what's going in the outer reality. As an abstract formalization, these mental models consist of uh, three main layers. A subnetwork in the base uh, is for the use of mental models, which is the fundamental step of mental models. Then adaptation layer comes to comes uh, to make this mental model adaptive, meaning to make us able to learn and also forget. As you know, uh, for us, forgetting is as beneficial as learning, for example, for terminated relationships. And uh, exactly at this point, we need to control uh, this adaptation. So we need a third layer for our mental models. This one uh, arranged the speed and persistence of the adaptation process below. That's all to know about uh, mental models. What about self-modeling network structure? Self-modeling network structure is uh, the representation of the layers, levels of mental models. We also have three layers representing all uh, levels one by one. Base first, base level, uh, first order submodel level and the second order submodel level. Base level is like the framework of the uh, mental model of the scenario, the process. Uh, first order self model levels will have uh, connection states. I will explain them in the more detail. And sec second order self model level is for the control of adaptation, and it will have uh, H and mu uh, states. I will also explain them. But we will use the second order self model level for the control of connection weights on level below. And we will have an extra meta, meta control level for the speed control. It will also uh, control the phase, phases of our scenario. Uh, yeah, I will explain that, them in more detail in next slides when we talk about our models. But first, we need to understand what organizational learning is. With a brief and topic-oriented uh, definition, it's the formation of shared mental models of individuals. Organizations consist of people using their mental models to complete personal or professional tasks. It's inevitable uh, to observe a collective learning process in an organization since no person can be isolated from the organization they belong. This shared mental model, uh, this shared learning, sometimes uh, and maybe most of the times 
takes place via teams, departments, uh, or small groups of people. And this brings us to the multi-level nature of organizational learning. What is multi-level level nature of organizational learning? Let's see. We have uh, levels of organizational learning. We have extracted six abstract levels representing, representing uh, learning levels of multi-levelity. We have individual levels, uh, which is the mental model formation of individuals. Uh, it's like the learning process of each of the individuals, each distinct individuals. Then feed forward learning takes place from individuals uh, to their teams by, by sharing knowledge and learning from each other. It's a form of feed forward learning because uh, individuals create a shared mental model for their team here. And then uh, feed forward learning, uh, feed, for, feed forward type of learning continues to flow from uh, teams to organization. Uh, organization tries to adaptively gain the best parts of teams, uh, shared mental models. I mean the best part, best uh, parts of the knowledge the team has, the teams have. Here, uh, feedback learning also play an important, plays an important role on improvements of teams and individuals. Since this learning uh, learning back mechanism flows from organization to teams to individuals. Individuals improve their knowledge with the help of their organization via their belonging teams. The overall picture of these levels uh, forms the process of organizational learning. This scheme uh, on the left hand this placed the overall picture that I just explained. You can see uh, individuals, teams, or sometimes it may be project based, uh, like in our scenario, and the whole organization here. Uh, from individuals to teams, and from teams to organizations, is the uh, are the feed forward type of learning, and the otherwise is the feedback learning. And as you can see in the right, uh, we customized our organizational learning scenario on the axis of risk management. We have Roger uh, as a PMO manager and uh, two project manager A and B, as you can see here, working in the local area. These are the individuals uh, in the local level, as you can see here. And in the middle, uh, there is PMO forum, including Roger and two managers from different PMOs, C and D. They will create a shared mental model, of course, uh, by learning from each other for uh, PMO forum in the organizational level. Since it is a, a dynamic process, progress, feedback, feedback learning also takes place uh, simultaneously with this feed forward learning process. In the organizational levels, team shared mental models construct a better and bigger shared mental models uh, with the help of shared mental models of teams with the combining, co combination of uh, team shared mental models. And now uh, PMO Central, this one, has a uh, opportunity, to do, opportunity to draw a global risk management practice with the knowledge gained from teams, bringing information from different local levels, different individuals from local levels. Uh, these are the detailed fragments of our scenario. I, will ex I have explained most of the scenario, but uh, this one is important to see the interpre interpretation of fragments for our self-modeling network design. You can see the interpretation interpretations here. These are the uh, feed forward and feedback 
mechanisms extracted from the scenario. And we can start uh, explaining our network design. And this is the base level of our um, design of the scenario. In this base level, uh, we have base states, base level states, like uh, individual states of project managers, A and B, uh, PMO manager, Roger, other PMO managers from different local uh, levels, C and D, uh, our PMO forum base levels and our PMO uh, organization base levels. These base levels represent the knowledge level of individuals on different tasks. For example, for person A, for manager A, uh, A has knowledge on A1, B1, A2, B2 tasks but B has knowledge on A2, B2, A3, B3 tasks. Their knowledge areas are uh, both coinciding and also diverse. Uh, then our, let me change the slides. And this is our first order self-model level. Uh, it's for adaptation of connections and uh, it has uh, W states representing the weights of connections below in the uh, base levels. It's, it was for use of internal uh, use of uh, mental models and it's for the adaptation of mental models and then it will come uh, the third layer for the control of adaptation. This adaptation, uh, these W states works like uh, these connections, intra-level connections. You can see for, uh, we have, for example, for, in the, for each individual, we have four different uh, connections. And that's why we have four different W states here representing all the collection uh, connections. And we have W states for all individuals and also uh, shared mental models. And also we have these connections. These are the uh, W to W connections. These connections uh, provide the adaptivity of uh, our mental models that actually uh, individuals and shared mental models. As you can see, uh, from individuals to Roger and from Roger and the other project managers to organization, we have many uh, arrows. These arrows may connect the people, individuals to teams and teams to organizations, organization. And we have also uh, otherwise arrows, the opposite arrows, because we need feedback learning to improve individuals uh, from by the help of their teams and to improve teams by the help of their organization. These arrows are for the feedback learning mechanisms. And we have the second order submodel levels, the control of adaptation. These higher order double states uh, represents the connection weights of these uh, W2W connections. Because we have uh, connections between these W states, we need to, we want to and we need to control them with this higher order W states. And these will also have intra-level arrows like this to control the connections. And also we have the meta control level to activate the phases because uh, we have three phases individual level the local level pmo forum level and the pmo uh, organization levels that's why uh, to control to activate these phases and to control the speed of the uh, learning processes we need h uh, states here in the meta control levels and this is our uh, overall model. It's 
uh, a bit complex, but not complicated. We transferred this model to our MATLAB software and, of course, got our simulation results. And it's time to discuss simulation results. It's our uh, MATLAB simulation results output. Uh, we have many states. We have a good, colorful simulation result. And I will explain it. In the beginning, individuals gain their knowledge on tasks because uh, when you encounter a job or a task, uh, you should first develop your mental model to learn the to understand and learn the task. This is for that. And after 20 to 40, this area, uh, we can see a recombination example because here. Roger develops an improved mental model combining the best parts of uh, project managers A and B, as uh, I explained, I mentioned. And then we can see uh, PMO forms actions from time 80 to 120. It's uh, basically the formation of organization shared mental model from uh, all local managers via their PMO teams is the uh, from team teams to organization uh, feed forward learning levels as I explained the last part between time uh, 140 and 160 uh, 80 represents the actions of PMO personnel it's uh, the decision process of the global risk management practice these are the uh, simulation results and I will explain I explained it thank you for listening if you have any question don't hesitate to ask thank you very much um, much so now we will give uh, with the uh, questions so uh, does anybody have any question? Um, well, uh, th there seems uh, to be uh, no further questions. Thank you very much, Gulai. Uh, hey, thank you for listening and your understanding.